Hey, what's up, Jojo in the morning family? I got a shocking discovery. I just found out that I want to share with you. There are some absolutely crazy people in this world. They're crazy. When you encounter crazy people, let me show you what you do. You just don't say nothing and you back up. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some crazy there's some crazy folks out there <laughs> they need prayer they need lots of prayer um and uh some of them need a friend <laughs> that probably ain't me but when 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 you're around crazy people you gotta have discernment you you need to have discernment okay <laughs> Listen, you need to know what boundaries are. You need to absolutely know what boundaries are. And you need to be okay with saying no. I was, uh, a few months back, I was speaking at this conference. And man, it was, it was a good church. It was a, a good-sized church. So there was a lot of people. Like if you're preaching to a congregation of around 70, 75, when you're ministering, you can pretty much get a flow and a vibe for almost every person in there, you know. But it was a bigger church, and when it was over, there's some people that watch JoJo in the morning and or Prophetic Weekly or or know us from our health coaching business, and so they were. I was talking to different people, and then the, the, this one group came up, and uh, like if there was a red flag, y'all, it was like there was flags waving everywhere, and and they were like, "Can we get a picture with you?" And um, I was like, hey, you know what? No, just, no, no, not right now, you know. I mean, we speak blessing over you. I, just, I spoke prayer and blessing over them. And I'm like, whoa. And then I, I went on and there's somebody, hey, can I get a quick picture? I said, sure, you know. Felt good about it. Quick picture. Well, one of the, the young guys that was kind of walking with me from, from that church, he said, hey, let me ask you a question. Why did you not take a picture with them? I said, because they would post it on social media. And... I don't know them, but I can tell by their spirit that my picture will be with them online. But before and after the next month or two, I don't want to be associated on their page. And that guy said, yeah, yeah, they they trouble. They're, they go from church to church to church to church, and all they do is they got them a little... Jezebel witchcraft little club and they think they're holier than thou and they think they're crazy God experiences or the Lord and everybody's wrong and I said yet they've built nothing let me say that again and yet they've built nothing one more time and yet they've built nothing people that are like that don't build anything and so that guy said man I I almost told you don't get a picture with them. I said, that's cool, but my Holy Spirit is strong, okay? And so uh, by saying that, you we're polite and kind and love everybody, but we don't have to associate with everybody. I mean, you got to think about Jesus and the rich young ruler. The rich young ruler would be an asset to a lot of ministries, and most people would be like, hey, come here, come here. But they knew he carried something that would damage the group. See, I was, there's a, you know, I saw on social media some people that were sponsoring ads, and one guy was literally begging people to come to their church. Invite everybody. Get everybody here. Come on in. Bring everybody in. Bring everybody to our church. There's like three people in our city that's doing that right now. They're begging people to come to their church, sponsoring ads to get everybody to come to their church. These same people will call me in private and talk about how their church is an absolute wreck. One guy said, man, there was this one person. I heard he was a great musician, but we threw him up on stage, train wrecked it. I said, well, the Bible says that we should labor and know the ones that we labor and minister with. Like, I wouldn't go into a business agreement with somebody that I did not know. 
Yeah, we'll just run into anything. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, uh, <laughs> I was um, at this other conference and altars were packed and I was praying for people. And when I was praying, I felt a hand on my shoulder. Ooh, I felt a hand on my shoulder. I didn't feel, woo. I turned around and this guy, he said, oh, you're pouring out. I'm going to pour in. I said, no, I don't like your pour. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You know, it's like at our church, we have visitors all the time, and people will come into our church, and they'll be like, the Lord sent me here to pray for you. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I will be in the middle of worship. People come in, I'm a visitor from out of town, and God told me to pray for you in front of your church. I'm like, no, no, he did not. You know, I'm very cautious of who I let pray for me. And uh, when, when ta- <laughs> one time I was in one of my, uh, my funny moods, and uh, I was at this conference, and service was, was just about over, and this lady came up. She was looking like this off service, you know, that lady, and uh, that one that, probably, that, 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 you know, they go to your church. She came up and said, God told me to pray for you. I said, let me tell you something. If you touch me, the Holy Ghost on the inside of me is going to cast what is in you, out of you. She turned and walked off full of devils, left full of devils. You know, I really don't even know what I'm talking about today. I'm just having fun. <laughs> I'm wearing a tropical shirt, y'all. My spirit, my mind must be like on a vacation or something. But you got to know those that labor amongst you. And you got to know when not to, like, I. you know, we get... I mean, like on a crazy day, on a crazy day, we'll get over a thousand emails, messages, notifications I need to respond to. And people like, listen, hey, thank y'all for sending me videos, but I get hundreds of videos sent to me every day and I, I can't can't watch all of them, okay? Um, but like I do get the prayer requests and I do pray over all of the prayer requests. I say the name of Jesus over every one of them. Um but but people will, I need to talk to you about your last prophetic word. I need an hour on the phone. And like, no, I mean, like nothing good will come out of that. Um, I was talking to somebody recently and like in our, in our, in our mentoring, I, I teach some people, I teach people how to think. Some people are at square root one and they're like growing, like got new converts, like, hey, teach us how to. And then I've got people who have multi-million dollar business ideas. It, it, it varies, okay? Our, our mentoring, you should pray about joining it in July. But I had a lady the other day, she just got on and talked, 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 talk about all this stuff she's got going on. I said, stop, collaborate, and listen. You, you need to focus in on one or two things. We started talking through, and, and, and she thought about everything and did hardly anything. And listen to every person that had an input in her life. That's why she was confused. He, he is my voice in my life. God is my voice, okay? And I have a very small nucleus of people that I let speak directly into my life. I have an apostle, which is a spiritual father. I have a spiritual mentor um, and business mentor. I have two prophetic voices, okay, um, and then I got like two people who were like, you know, iron sharpens iron, and and my wife is is she's solid. My wife and I we talk a few times a day, and just just solid, you know. I let my wife, uh, we speak into each other's life. We we help keep each other uh, just going strong. You know, you, you get two people that are married or two people that are like best friends, like a business partner, you know. Uh, my wife has two or three ladies that are like in there with her in, in prayer. And like she has prayer partners, like boy, they they get it. You'll you'll be in there, she'll be on the phone with one of her friends and they'll be like praying in the Holy Ghost. I mean, just going for it. You need you some friends like that, okay? Remember, if you are lonely, loneliness is an amazing gift. That's where you're in the cave. 
We all need a cave season that we're just pulled away with God. Don't let the wrong people speak into your life. Don't let those crazy folks in. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Like, okay, I got to tell y'all this. This is just what I do sometimes. I get my headset, even if I'm not listening to stuff, and I'll put them in like this. I put them in when I'm going to the store sometimes. I might not even have nothing on. Because ever, I mean, the other day. <laughs> The other day, it was pouring rain, pouring rain. And you know when you walk into like a grocery store, right when you walk in, they got that the, the fan. I ain't get three steps in and somebody that made eye contact with me. Jojo, dude, what's up? Let me tell you what's going on in my life. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. and then all of a sudden, someone else sees me. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I feel like a running back in the NFL trying to break through the line. And I'm thinking, I'm just trying to get my water and my coffee for my wife because my wife wants some coffee. I got to get some coffee. And and then I'm just like, oh, my gosh. And I'm just looking. And then people, it, I'm, I rushed through there pretty quick. I had, had some people in the car. My my, my kids were, 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 were in the car because it was pouring rain. And uh, they're, they're older kids. Don't think like I left like infants in there or nothing. Crazy folks. Um, but one day I walked in and I was in a prayerful mood. I didn't get 20 feet in the store and I was in there for 30 minutes. And, and I done talked to four folks, laid hands. I almost thought one dude got slain in the spirit at the grocery store. Do you know how crazy that would have been? They would have been like, Turd, did you push him down? We got video. I said, no, I was praying in the Holy Ghost. Man, I reactivated a prophet one day. I saw a prophet who'd walked away from his calling on aisle 13. And I said, hey, they say 13's unlucky, but it's blessed for you today. I laid hands on this prophet. He started weeping. He started hucking and bucking. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And, and there was those poles, so I leaned him up against the pole, and I and I, I got out there real quick. I came back five minutes later. He's still right there. I was praying over him, prophesying over him in 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 Walmart, y'all. I'll go to the Kroger. I'll go to the Albertsons, man. I'll pray for some people, the public. Boy, I, I'll go to those places, okay. When 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 you when you, I have a meaning for today. I really do. Okay, when you go in public, not everybody's your assignment, but some people are. And if you give your ear to everybody that you know, let me teach you a lesson. What's up, man? Keep walking. You give the three second, give them the peace. What's up, dude? Or the one, hey, what's up, man? You want, hey, what's up, man? Point out. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. And keep walking. And keep walking. So many people waste their life talking to the wrong people. You miss your God assignments. Miss your God assignments. Don't talk to crazy people. Okay. There are, listen, God has people for you, and so does the devil. The problem is the devil's people <laughs> will minister to your flesh in a wrong way. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. You know how it is when you've been clean for six months or a year, and you're on a spiritual high. Your old friend that used to drag you down comes at listen, and you've got to find the right people. You know, when you're starting to flow in the prophetic, people will try to pull you back. No, you got to learn to fly. This is the flying season. We're about to see an increase. We're about to see a blessing. We're about to see some people move forward in this season. You can't move forward hanging out with crazy folk. You can't You can't do that. Listen, this is a season. God will align you with the right people. I was talking to somebody recently. I have different mentorings I do, different groups. There's this one mentoring group I have. And, and this lady said, I have nobody in my life. I, and she went into this. I said, ma'am, it's because you were so confused. You told me everything that you got going and everything that's going wrong. Why did you think a powerful mentor would come into your life? You joined our mentoring. You paid a price to join in. Let me tell you, I told you to tell me, you know, let, let's get let's get rolling. Let's get you rolling. And you tell me every reason you couldn't. Are, are you going to change? Do you know how many people that I know that are over the age of 60 years old 
that have went bankrupt or lost their house in the past three to four years. Lots of them. Why? They never got around the right people. Okay? They never got around the right people. Get around the right people. Get around the right people. When I knew I was going to connect with my apostle, I had never met this gentleman in my life. I hopped on a big bird, big bird, and flew to his conference, took an offering to meet him. If I want to receive from anybody, I always sow a seed. People say all the time, I'm not gleaning from my church. Are you sowing? You're not going to ever glean where you don't sow. We listen to podcasts in our house on a regular basis. We sow into all those ministries. I'm going to be connected to those people. Are you tracking with me? You get around crazy folks. You get around people that don't want to grow. You're not going to grow. When you're just talking to people, if the word... Does just oh I'm highlighting it, highlighting it. If the word just doesn't come out of their mouth, you might be hanging out with the wrong folks. When you get people full of the word and understand the ways and the character and the concepts of God, they don't talk bad about folks. They're not gonna spend their time talking about excuses. I mean, my Jesus was about to go to the cross. And said, Father, I really don't want to do it because I know how painful it's going to be. But if I have to, I'll go through it. There is none of us, none of us has ever nor will ever go through anything that is anywhere close to the persecution of the cross. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them. I don't know about you, but I would have been like, hey, God, go ahead and send about 10 million angels down here and smite them all, you know, have a barbecue with them. Come on. No. Jesus said, forgive them. They don't even know what they're doing. He's up there witnessing to another man on a cross. Now, that's love right there. That's some love. We need to learn from that. Okay? Understand, your calling is great. Think upward. When you start thinking up, things will shift in your life. Jojo in the morning, I love you, family. And I want to say thank you to all of our financial partners and our prayer partners. I need both partners. Thank you. If you need prayer, go to the website, jojodawson.net. Send me a prayer request. It is my honor to pray for you.